T folks, willkommen, bienvenue. What's going on? Uh, aye, I've been out bootying it this morning. Uh, cracking day up in Scotland, like. So went along to the the usual two that I go to, the only two that are near me, uh, and picked up a few bits and pieces. Um, went to the bigger one, and there wasn't a lot there. Uh, there was well, I say there wasn't a lot there. There was loads of shit there, but nothing that I really I'm interested in. Um, got a whole bunch of records, which I won't show you, um, because I don't think any of you guys are interested in records, but I got quite a lot, some really cool ones, Thin Lizzy, Black Sabbath, that type of thing, so pretty ha happy with that, uh, what else did I get, uh, ELO, uh, I think I got a Santana one, and the best of status quo, so that was quite good. Um, now, before I get into the toys, I went to a charity shop. I think it was yesterday, or the day before, uh, and I picked up a few bits. Picked up this Xbox 360 controller. Works a treat. That was two quid, and really, it had white paint all over it. But I've cleaned it all up, and it looks fantastic now, almost brand new. So that was nice. Um, and then I got some games. <coughs> I don't know what happened there. Uh, I got some games. I got Mario Kart, uh, Wii Fit Plus, but I think you need the board for that. But Hey ho, and Star Wars uh, 3, The Clone Wars for the Wii, so that's quite good, 50 pence each of these games, so, you know, must be must be worth it, maybe sell them as a bundle or CEX them, who cares, right, uh, what else have we got, right, a few bits and pieces here, I'll show you this bad boy first, uh, I got myself an M&M dispenser, uh, I don't know if Oddpod still collects these, he might already have one, but if he doesn't want this, um, I might put Smarties in it, because <laughs> the missus uh, loves the Smarties, good old Mrs. Solo. Uh, right, so that was that, then I got a whole shit ton of these bad boys, Moshi Monsters. Uh, that's them, there's a lot of glumps roll on the top there, and there's a gold sheep. Oh, there's a gold sheep, probably about 15 to 20 glumps, so that's pretty good. So Paul, there you go buddy. Send them to you, sir. So that's those. Uh, a few other bits and pieces. Picked up this fella. It's a vintage uh, Power Ranger, 1993, I think it said. 1993, yeah. So that's quite cool. I remember my brother had this as a kid. It's in quite nice nick as well. So I picked him up. Um, I picked that guy up and all the figures I'm going to show you now. From the same dude, Chick. So I got another Hasbro Hero. One of the movie ones. Uh, this one, which is pretty cool. A Megatron. Or is that Galvatron? I don't know. It's pretty sick, though. I like to dig him. Beastie motherfucker. Uh, this uh, guy. No idea if anyone can tell me what he's from. That'd be cool. Um, another Hasbro hero. He struggles to stand up. I think he's. I think he's supposed to use that as a kind of a lean on that, like he's doing a wheelie or something. But if you try and stand him up straight, he just falls straight over. So, yeah, that's him. <coughs> uh, a gladiator, American style. I don't know if Paul's interested in that. A uh, what else did I get from him? Oh, I a Darth Vader figure and a. Lannard Corp. I always pick these up. I just save them because people just bin them. But uh, he's a vintage one. He's from the 80s, so he's in quite nice condition. So that's cool. I don't really, I, I, I don't mean to collect those corps. I just end up with fucking millions of them. <laughs> uh, yeah, so that was that from that seller. And that was a fiver for all those little bits. Um, then I went to another one. Another guy. That was from the old man Chick who uh, sorts me out with a few toys now and again. Nice old boy. Uh, and a little a little thing here, which really I, I actually got involved in this. Um, there were these two uh, foreign gentlemen. I th I don't know where they were from, but their English wasn't the best. And uh, oh, there's an ambulance. Hold on. It's professional as always on this channel, folks. <laughs> uh, 
Right, so anyway, yeah, what was I saying? Oh, I, there was a, uh, yeah, these foreign, two foreign gentlemen, and Chick, the old boy, had this uh, this car which made noises and stuff, it was fully working order, a big fuck-off truck, it was pretty big, uh, and the guys asked him how much it was, and Ch I mean, Chick is a fucking old man, you know, and he's like, three quid, and they, honestly, they kept saying two, two, two all the time. And, I mean, I actually had to turn around because Chip was getting more and more sort of flustered. So I just turned around and said, look, mate, it's fucking two quid. It's three quid. Take it or leave it and I'll piss off. <laughs> and the two of them got quite short. And they were big bastards too. So, I mean, I, I, I didn't realise how big they were because I wasn't really looking at them. And then when I turned around and said, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> but anyway, uh, they just kind of muttered something in wherever they were from, language, and fucked off. So, yeah, but it, it, was, it was a piss take, man. Poor chick. Anyway, I don't really get angry at the car boot, but I tell you, that, that, was, that wasn't very nice, and you've you got to respect your elders. Uh, anyway, I don't know if you, any of you guys have had that at all, where you've, you've, you've just, you, you just can't keep quiet, you've got to say something. Um, it's almost like harassment to the poor old fella. Uh, I felt really bad for him. Um, but that's that car boot. I mean, they're all at it there. Uh, the, the foreign people and the not foreign people, they're all at it. They're all just trying to get something for nothing. Anyway, picked up this Batman in a box of McDonald's toys for 50 pence. It's from 1990, I think. It's quite an old one, yeah, 1990, so quite nice. Um, then I picked up these. Now, these are part of a Megazord, Paul says. I can't remember what he said. The Zoo Megazord or something? I can't remember. <laughs> so it's him, some crazy shark. Uh, a lion, they've all got die cast feet, so yeah, a lion and some sort of white tiger. So that was quite good. Pick them up. Uh, plus this wee fella, Hasbro Hero Spider Man, for a fiver, so I thought that wasn't too bad. Uh, and then I went to the second car boot, and there was nothing there apart from I picked up a GameCube. Um, with two controllers and all the wires, so I'll have to test that out and see if it works. Unfortunately, like a bell end, I sold more my GameCube games, so I wanted to test that out and see if it works. If it does work, I might keep it, I might sell it, I don't know. Um, but I seem to remember the GameCube was quite fun, so we'll give it a whirl. Uh, and I also picked up this guy from the seller. It's a Red Skull from Captain America. He was two quid. It comes with his pistol. I thought that was quite a nice buy. So, yeah, I don't like Captain America, but somebody else might want that. Uh, and then, now, I was watching the traders, and they were sniffing around this guy with a load of golfing equipment. And the boy, uh, he's a right arsehole, this guy, who was sort of negotiating prices. And he picked up, um, he was picking up the hats and stuff. So I picked up this hat. So it's a golf hat. Uh, it's brand new. It's really nice. Uh... But he uh, he picked up the hat. He was I picked that up, and he had already had two in his hand. And uh, he's going. The guy's going. He's negotiating a price for it. And uh, he's, he's. I mean, I picked this hat way before he started doing the negotiate uh, negotiations. Uh, and the guy's like, uh, "Well, oh, that's my hat." And me and the seller just looked at him baffled, and I was like, "Nah, mate, you've you've got your stuff." No, no, I've paid for that hat as well. I was like, no, you haven't. This is you've got your hats. This is mine. I'm I want to see if if the gentleman will sell me this hat. He's all right. He's just a dick. And then he he put down also a brand new Adidas golf shirt, as well. A uh, bit big for me, two XL. In fact, huge on me. Uh, so he put that down as well. And he, he he seems to think he owns the car boot. But I mean, the guy was just like that. No, th this lad's buying these. You've got your stuff now. Do one. <laughs> so I. Uh, Crazy man, some people are just unbelievable. Uh, and a, I've got a pack of golf balls, one pack, two packs of golf balls. So I got the two packs of golf balls, the hat and the shirt. That was a, a tenner, so that's not bad. I'll probably give the hat to my old man and the golf balls and sell the shirt for a tenner. That'll cover my costs, so that's good. I'll get them for free. And uh, I think that's it, folks. I think that is it. I don't think there's anything else to show. Uh, oh, I bought myself some shorts, but I don't think you really want to see those. And I bought myself a shirt, but nah, I'm not going to show you that. It's all rubbish. <laughs> so yeah, that was it. Um, I just want to say a big thank you. Um, at the moment, I'm on 100 subs. So 
yeah, just I can't believe it to be honest. I I just thought I'd show a few people some car boot holes and meet some like-minded people. I had no idea that hundred people would would uh, be interested in watching my videos of shit. So yeah, I'm over the moon. Thank thanks so much uh, for subscribing. By the time I've said all this though, somebody's probably gone now. Nah, fuck you, Jeff, <laughs> and I'm back down to ninety nine or something, or maybe back even down to the seventies. I don't know, but. Yeah, yeah, I really appreciate it. I really do. And I might even have a wee contest. I think I might. Uh, I've got some toys to give away. But stay tuned for a, the contest. Obviously, you have to be a subscriber uh, to enter. But I, I'll come up with something ingenious. And, uh, yeah, you can, you can enter that if you fancy. Win a couple of toys. I'll, I might even post to America. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I will. Of course I'll post to America. I will, I will. Uh, it'll only be a wee thing, but, you know, it's just, just something to give back to you guys for, for supporting me and uh, subscribing to my channel, because uh, I really appreciate it. And uh, uh, I'm missing Jared Ultimatum's videos, so if you're watching this, buddy, look, where's the videos? <laughs> I haven't seen them for ages. So I hope everything's well in your world. And, uh, yeah, thanks a lot, guys. Take it easy, and I'll see you all soon. Cheers.